and a very pleasant good morning one and all. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019 and welcome to the Schwanz Cup Hockey Tournament. We have just dropped the puck on the varsity boys open division championship game. It is the Southwest Christian Richfield Stars taking on the Marshall Tigers. On the scoreboard, the Tigers are considered the home team as they wear the white uniforms. They travel left to right here into the opening period. Tigers are called offsides at the line as they enter the zone. They are led by senior Mason Plant. Plant has been an absolute scoring machine for Marshall this season. 25 goals already on the season. Season about halfway over. He's chipped in 18 assists, 43 points. As I say, a scoring machine. Your starting goaltenders for this championship game for Marshall is Dominic Caspers. He is a nine and one on the season. Goals against less than two, a save percentage nearing 94%. And for Southwest Christian, getting the start is Lucas Haugen. He's gotten the entire season uh, for the Stars. He is seven and three, save percentage right around 93%, and a goals against at 2.28. So a couple solid goaltenders, balanced scoring uh, from Southwest Christian, and a stud for the Tigers. And that puck deflected up and out of play. We'll get a face up in the Marshall zone. 15.41 to play here in the opening period, no score. Tigers knock the uh, face off ahead. Now they'll uh, gather it back up in their own zone. Dropping it back was Trey Weber. Banged out to center by Remy. Picked up there, and uh, Tristan Vandermeer tries to work into the zone. He's able to get the puck free. One-handed one uh, toward the net that time was Bryson White. Easily covered by Haugen, and then White. Kind of pushed into the goaltender, into the uh, cage as well. We get that reset face off. Coming in the star zone. Vandermeer to face it off against Jackson Olim. And clean face off win here for the Tigers at the point. Shot by Welbert is uh, knocked into the corner. Trying to come out of the corner was Vandermeer. Now a shot from the far point. And that was taken by Jensen Meyer. Easily steered aside by Haugen. Loose puck at center, back to play it is Bladholm. He gets it ahead for White. White tried to dump it in. First one to it here is going to be Bladholm. He'll play it around to the right wing wall. That's where the star is picking up and leading the charge through center is Orion Odafe, and he'll just flip one in on goal. Easily steered aside there by Caspers and picked up. Welbert starts back for the Tigers. Welbert end to end. Shot deflected into the near corner. He's able to pick up his own rebound. Throws one into the slot area and it kicks free. Trying to play it out was Beck Jordan. Now it finally does come out courtesy of Kyle Baker. Baker down the left wing. Gets caught from behind by Elliot Holland. And Holland plays it up the left wing wall, but not out. Pinching down to hold it in was Cullen O'Connell. <laughs> Swept back into the corner and around by Jake Holmstrom. At the far wall now is Gorsh. Centering pass, comes all the way free and just unable to keep that one in was Holmstrom. He'll track it down in his own zone. Played across for O'Connell and he just dumps it out to center. They wave off the icing so the race is on. It's gonna be won by Conkle. And actually beating Conkle to it alertly was Dominic Caspers coming out of his net. Now Conkle drags it free and then has it stolen away by Archibald. Knocked off his stick and played by Cruz. Tigers get it ahead. Here's Frost over the line. Frost throws it on net. Gloved and held by Haugen. We'll get a face off in the star zone. 13.20 to play in a scoreless opening period. Marshall comes into the game 
11 and a 1. Southwest Christian, 7 and a 3. Cycling out into the high slot with it was Archibald, knocked off his stick. And then uh, poked off of Summerness's stick as he came through center for the Stars. Dropped back by Anderson. And uh, an offsides call here. Just unable to hold that one in was Weber at the blue line. Offsides on the Tigers. Both teams will switch it up. Prior to the faceoff outside the Stars blue line. Final day of this 2018 the Schwann's Cup, the first day of the new year. Glad to have you along with us. Hopefully everybody had a very safe, enjoyable, and happy New Year's Eve. Maybe some of you just waking up. Maybe some of you will uh, catch this after the fact and <laughs> we wish you happy hangover. <laughs> Fighting to hold it in on the far side was Remy and finally does get pushed out to center, picked up. Jensen Meyer sends it right back in and on goal. O'Connell plays it up the near side. Pass is stolen away and Vandermeer just pushed it too far out. Put it out front and kind of fanning on the one-timer. There was Bladholm tied up out front. Pushed out to center and... Cut off by Meyer, his pass intended for Bladholm, getting a stick on that to disrupt things it was Truman Haugen. Three Haugens on the team, Truman and Isaac. Freshman for the Stars, and obviously the starting goaltender, Lucas, he's a senior. Back in the Stars zone is O'Connell. Long lead pass was knocked down, the rebound picked up and brought along by Beckjord, and he'll slide it into the tar Tiger zone. Marshall has allowed a precious little playing time in their own zone. They have dominated the game despite the shots being a three aside. The southwest portion of Minnesota, obviously, uh, traditionally better known for its basketball than its hockey, but. Laverne uh, has kind of started to change things over the last few years, and Marshall has been right there with them, and Marshall, the dominant squad in the southwest portion of the state this season. Quick shot, and that hits the outside of the net. That was Archibald on the attempt. This is Cruz back in his own zone. He spins away from a summer in his forecheck and dumps it out to center. Played free by Haugen. Haugen trying to cut in and throws it toward the net. It's covered there by Caspers. We're going to face off to his left. 10.26 to play opening period. Still no score. Following this game, Marshall back in action on a Saturday. They'll be home to take on Minnesota River on Saturday matinee. Stars push that one right through the crease area. Tigers get it to the line. Staying strong to hold it in there was Holmstrom. Now it comes free in the high slot, pushed ahead. This is Landon Frost at center. He turns it over as Gustafson. Spins in his own zone and starts up ice. Nick Gustafson, leading goal scorer for the Stars, works his way down the left wing wall. Puts on the brakes. His centering pass comes free all the way to the point. Pushed off to the far wall by Odafe. Odafe throws one through the slot. That'll rebound up the wall now for Card. Pushed back Card. Gustafson there to hold it in. Now the Tigers get it out, and this one will go the length of the ice, and an icing call on Marshall. Down to 9.29 left to play here in the opening period. Still no score. Shots are still three apiece. The 
enjoy today's game. Southwest Christian will uh, head home for their next game as well. It'll take place Friday against Mora Malacca. As we get another racing call here on Marshall. And following that one, a whole lot of road games for the Stars. They will travel to uh, Highland Park down to Rochester to take on Lords. They'll head north to take on Moose Lake. Before rounding things out with games against Legacy Christian and Dodge County before they head back home on the 22nd of January. So 18 days between home games for the Stars as they push it back into the Tiger zone, immediately dumped back out to center by Remy. Welbert to the left wing, brought along by Bladholm. He tries a little dump and chase. Vandermeer got a stick on it. Vandermeer throws it toward the net. That's pushed up the slot. Held in and driven wide by Welbert. Behind the net, Brady Anderson had it poked off his stick. Tigers. Now drop it back to the point. This is Cruz. Slides it to the far side. His shot steered aside. Kicked free behind the net is White. White got it out front. It slides into the high slot. And the Stars able to chip it out to center. Odafe giving chase back defensively as Cruz. Pushed into the slot. Comes right back for Odafe. And then he's pushed off the puck. And Cruz sends it ahead. It comes free at center. And the Stars will regroup. O'Connell runs into his own man a little... Uh, Miscommunication with Holmstrom and a sharp angle shot hits the back of the net. Now Holmstrom gets it ahead, tipped out to center and picked up by Carter Evans. Evans slides it into the Tigers zone. It's right on the blue line and held in there uh, by Michalizzi. At center for the Tigers, Caden Thornton. Thornton uh, throws it in toward the net. Haugen reaches out, scoops it up and hangs on to it. We'll get a face off to his right, 7.25 to play opening period. It's Marshall nothing, Southwest Christian nothing. Off the face off, Marshall centering pass, spot for in the slot and finally Pushed toward the blue line, it's knocked free, trying to break free. Here's Conkle. Conkle on the breakaway, comes right, and he scores! Jeremiah Conkle puts Southwest Christian on the board. It's 1-0 Stars. His goal comes at 9.58 of the opening period. Fourth of the season for Jeremiah Conkle. We'll see if they issue an assist. He kind of stole it up by the blue line. Now picked up, here comes Conkle again. A wrister is on goal. Caspers gloves it and hangs on to it. And it is an unassisted goal for Conkle. Loose puck races on and diving out to knock that one away. Was O'Connell now picked up, it comes free. Quick centering pass on the backhand. Plant got it out front, now Plant along the near wall tries to play it back to the point, eventually finds its way for Remy. Back for Plant, his centering pass was cut off by Conkle. Plant unable to work past Conkle. Remy plays it to the near point. Welbert throws it out front, knocked down. And finally backhanded out by Gustafson. And it does just go far enough. An icing call here on Southwest Christian. We'll move the faceoff back to their zone 613 to play in the opening period. one nothing Stars.
the faceoff. Stars Control unable to get it out of the zone was Haugen. Now going down was Olim. And coming away with it finally is Ale Juhas, the freshman. To the far wall, very young Stars team. Lots of freshmen on this varsity squad. Only four seniors on the squad. Marshall a little more balanced. They rely on the seniors, but a heavy class of juniors that will fill in as well. This one, ooh, redirected out front, just slides uh, past the near post. Pitching down to keep the play alive was Juhas. He comes to the side of the net, trying to cover it was Caspers. He was unable to do so, but the Tigers pick up the puck, and the bouncer comes out to center for Bryson White. White undresses one defender, comes right in, gets the backhander away. It's stopped by Haugen, and he took a little a shot after the whistle there from White, trying to dig free of his own rebound, and unable to do so, will get the face off in the Southwest Christian zone. Down to 5.16 left to play here in the opening period. Conkle and Jared Anthony on the faceoff. Stars eventually uh, win it. Beck Jordan gets it out to center, and before he could dump it in, Gorsh had it poke checked off his stick. Now it is sent in by O'Connell. O'Connell at center, his pass off of Gorsh's stick. Gorsh able to knock down the clearing attempt. Puck comes free into the slot. Tigers successfully captured and it's brought along and the flipping one wide was Holland. Played back toward the point that'll find its way out to center and Plant waits for teammates to get on side and then leads the charge right back in. Cuts to the forehand side, the left shot, throws it on goal. Steered aside by Haugen, picked up, turning, firing, trying to go short side was Plant, but Haugen tight against the post, made sure he had that one covered. And we'll get another face off to his left. Down to 426 to play in the opening period. Marshall has been impressive to get to this championship game. They defeated Princeton 6-1 on Saturday before coming back with a semifinal victory 5-1 over Simley yesterday. A little more difficult road uh, traveled uh, by the Stars as they defeated uh, Pine City 4-3 on Saturday. They played at neighboring Bloomington Kennedy yesterday in their semifinal. That was a 3-1 win for the Stars. It was also a rematch of a game that those two teams had played. In fact, it was the second game of the season for the Stars. And Stars a perfect 2-0 against the uh, Bloomington Kennedy Eagles, having defeated them 5-0 earlier in the season. Proving yesterday that game two of the season was no fluke. Now it comes free. Slid across and a good back check. Had Landon Frost tied up. Frost touches it into the zone. He goes down after Brady Anderson had fallen in front of him. Now it's picked up by Plant. Plant into the slot, slides off a stick and knocking it into his own net was Cockle just trying to play it away. Instead, he slides it in. It's an own goal. And it ties it at one. So we'll see who gets credit for the goal here for Marshall. 13-33, the time of the Tigers. Game-tying goal. I think it's going to be credited to Mason Plant. I believe he was the last Tiger that touched it as he played one through the slot area. Don't like to joke about it, but Conkle actually has both goals in this hockey game. And Plant does get credit for it. They'll give him an unassisted goal, his 26th of the season. 
Tigers send it right back in on goal. Shots starting to pile up for the Tigers as they have really enjoyed the territorial advantage in this hockey game. Knocked out out front, loose puck, and they will say it was played with a high stick. Otherwise, Tigers had an open net that they were ready to try to pounce on, but having played it with a high stick, we'll move the face off back into the Tigers zone. We're down to 2.55 left to play in the opening period. From the point of shot by O'Connell, hits the traffic. Behind the net, Summerness was going to try to center, had it taken away by Weber. Now Welbert. At center, knocked down and sent back in by the Stars. Clearing attempt came and turning right blade one was Gustafson trying to catch Caspers out of the net. Failed to make it through, however. Now Gustafson sends it back for O'Connell, and he'll set things up, take a swing behind his net. Pushed along, Holmstrom's pass at center off of Conkle's stick. Comes free and uh, gets knocked free. Tigers flip it ahead. It's steered into the zone by Anthony. He gathers it in and throws it behind the Stars' net. At center, Jensen Meyer tried to dump it in, but Conkle knocked it down. Gustafson plays it ahead. Conkle giving chase, and we get an icing call as Meyer was ahead of Gustafson, or Conkle, I should say. Down to 136 to play into the opening period, tied at one. Shots 13 to six in favor of Marshall. Up the faceoff, Plant got a quick shot. Now he tries to throw it off front. That hits the side of the net. Pushed into the corner by Meyer. Cut off by Anderson and played up the near wall. First one to it and played it out to center was Odafe. Picked up and brought along by Frost. Frost out the slot. His shot deflects over top of the net. Bouncing puck. Comes free at the bottom of the faceoff circle before it's played away by Anderson. And now picked up and brought along by Olim. Olam gets it into the zone before he's knocked off the puck. Well, it looked like a knee-to-knee -knee hit, but no penalty. So had a penalty-free opening period here as we play in the final minute. Meyer sends it in, trapped and held by Haugen. We'll get a face-off to his left. 52.6 seconds remain to be played in the opening period. Vandeveer and Conkle on the faceoff. Conkle able to win it back, having a little bit of difficulty with it was Hardacre. Now Gustafson gets around one, he goes down, no call there either. Bladholm, centering pass, stolen away by the Stars. Here comes Conkle down the left wing. He goes down again, no call as the puck comes free for the Tigers. And Pushed ahead, knocked down at center following the play and picking up his own pass. Now it's over the line with Walbert. Walbert shot, flashing out the uh, left pad was Haugen. At center, White sends it back into the star zone behind his net is Hardacre. He's trying to kill the last few seconds. It comes to Summerness. And the horn sounds to end of the opening period. It's the Varsity Boys Open Championship game. Your score. Southwest Christian won. Marshall won. Shots on goal favoring Marshall by a margin of 15 to 7. Folks, we're going to turn down the sound. We'll try to get a little better sound for you here in period number two as you watch the Schwann's Cup right here on YouTube.
Welcome back, hockey fans. We are uh, dropping the puck and underway here in period number two. It is the boys' open varsity championship game. Marshall and Southwest Christian Academy nodded at one. The stars of Southwest Christian call for icing here just eight seconds into the period. Goal scores in the opening period. Southwest Christian got on the board first at 9.58. Jeremiah Conkle, his fourth of the season, unassisted. Marshall would tie it at 13-33. The goal credited to Mason Plant, his 26th of the season, unassisted. It was an own goal, however, for the Stars as Conkle inadvertently trying to push the puck behind the net on a centering pass, steered it just inside the post and tied it up. And off the draw, here comes Gustafson for the Stars for Conkle. Further along, just failed to connect there with Summerness. First one back to it is Welvert. And Conkle sends it in on goal, steered away, but Summerness first one to it, put it out front, and the net comes undone. As Gustafson was crashing into the net, and uh, Casper's reaching out Covering that one in the blue ice. Face off will come to the left of Dominic Caspers. He made a six saves in the opening period. the draw, the Tigers work it to the far wall for Plant. Tries to dump it in, they say, onside. Bouncing puck held in, push to the side of the net, trying to walk out front and go short side with it was Plant. That was denied by Haugen. Pass comes a free in the corner. O'Connell couldn't clear it. Plant puts it right off with turning, getting a shot on goal that time was Frost. Again, Haugen. Big save for the Stars. Now the Stars take each other out. Tigers hold it in, but throw it wide. It rebounds to the near wall. Welvert trying to work around Gustafson. Peels back. Throws it out front. Knocked down out front. Loose puck cleared ahead for Gustafson. He gets it to the blue line. That did come out, so the Tigers have to clear the zone. Caspers quickly sends it ahead. Plant two on one if he hurries. Plant into the slot between the legs. Puts it up front. They score. Beautiful feed. It's finished off by Bryson White. And the Tigers grab their first lead of the afternoon. It's 2-1 Marshall. Eleventh of the season for Bryson White on a pretty feed after he'd gone between his own skates. Mason Plant picks up assist number 19 on the goal, which comes at 149. And Dominic Casper is the goalkeeper, able to pick up an assist on that one as he quickly sent it ahead for Plant. So White from Plant and to Casper's at 149. Now comes from the slot, the shot, they scored! We're tied at two! Just 35 seconds after Marshall grabbed the lead. Brady Anderson knots it for Southwest Christian. First of the season for Anderson. That puck came to him in the high slot and he didn't miss with the wrister. 2.24 the time of Anderson's first of the year.
Jackson Olam and Ryan Odafei pick up the assists on Anderson's first of the season. Now here comes Olam over the line, but cutting across defensively and playing it back out to center was Cruz. Anderson uh, tracks it down in his own zone. Freshman saucers of the head off of Olam's stick. Now Olam overskates it and picking it up is Vandeveer. He got it as far as the uh, southwest blue line before it's played back by Anderson. Now poked free. Johnson Rusty, another freshman, giving chase after he'd poked it free. No icing here, centering pass, but the only one home there is the Stars Cullen O'Connell. O'Connell reverses course, finds Rusty. Rusty's cross ice pass comes free, and uh, Welbert puts on the brake, stick handles through a couple of would be uh, four checkers, and right into the Stars zone, came down the slot, knocked loose, taken away from Gustafson. Thordson put it to the side of the net, steered ahead, and through center comes Gustafson for the Stars. Little dump and chase. Boy, he had two arms uh, wrapped on Welbert. Still been a penalty-free hockey game as Welbert comes in his shot. Deflects toward the far corner, Welbert. First one, two, it gets to the same time Holmstrom did. Pushed into the slot and played away by O'Connell. O'Connell now in the near corner. Ran into Plant, who pushed it behind the net, trying to turn behind the net with it was Holmstrom. He ran into a double team as he did so, and now it's Conkel. And he's able to clear the zone. That was touched by Weber, so no icing here as Weber back to play it. Weber long lead pass. Finds a stick of uh, Arkbold. Now Arkbold whiffed on it. O'Connell off the glass. Arkbold there to hold it in. O'Connell. O'Connell, I should say, slides down. He starts Conkle back. Between the defense, Conkle to the far end. Pad save and covered by Caspers. Good burst of speed from Jeremiah Conkle as he was looking for his second of the game. He was able to split the defense, but Caspers equal to the challenge and made sure there was no rebound on that attempt. Eleven fifty-three to play, period two. Exactly what you'd want for a championship game tied at two. At center now, Archbold gets it ahead. Plant stick handles along the blue line, it comes out. He's got to wait for Archbold to get back on side. He'll kill time at the neutral ice area as he's harassed there by Olim. Now Plant stick handles his way into the star zone, breaks down the left wing, comes right in, tried to go five hole. Throws it out front, diving back, a great save that time from Haugen. Now from the point of shot, from a Myers defended away. Through center, Hardacre. Hardacre throws one wide of the net, a little rebound to the far side for Odify. Loose puck is picked up and brought along now by Gannat. Left off for Arkbold, centering pass is knocked off of White Stick. White taps it free, Vandeveer. Now White picks up. White into the slot, lets the shot go, that skips wide. Put back out front by Bladholm, that's denied, and the Stars will bring it back through center. Dumping it in was Carter Evans, or check that. Was a Gorsh. Held at the point, knocked away out front. Welver tipped it just wide of his own net. We've already seen the one own goal here today. Shot from the point. Steered on goal by Beck Jordan, but an easy uh, cover made by Caspers. will get the face off to his right. 10-19 to play, period number two. Conkle and Vandeveer on the faceoff, finally comes free for the Stars. Pushed near point, O'Connell throws it toward the front, tipped wide, getting a stick on it out front that time with Summerness. Long pass at center, knocked down and uh, played back 
play to Haven. Now at center comes White. White forced to the backhand. Tries to slide one in the short side. Knocked free by Bladholm. Couldn't do anything with it in summerness for the Stars. Gets it out to center. Knocked down by Conkle. Conkle around one, but puck taken away by Welbert. Tip free at center, picked up. Shot put on goal by Bladholm, steered aside by Haugen. Vandeveer tried to cut in. Backhands one into the slot area, knocked away by DeHaven. Gustafson plays it. Summerness can't clear the zone. Tied against the wall there on the far side, keeping the play alive is Blake Cruz for Marshall. Now Cruz bats it deep. And finally, Conkle clears the zone. Summerness overskated it. Big collision at center, but brought back into the zone, backhanded into the slot by Thordson. It comes free to the near wall and played back to center where Welbert has it. Brought in Archbold, cuts in the slot, lets the wrister go, and that is swallowed up and held by Haugen. We are just nine seconds away from the halfway point of the hockey game. Marshall and Southwest Christian tied at two. Shots 22-13 in favor of Marshall. Including a 7-6 advantage here in the second period. The teams traded goals in the first. They've already traded goals here in the second. Pacekoff, Plant, leaves it off at the point for Weber. Weber's shot. Ends up going off of uh, Odafi and uh, into the netting. Face off win for the Tigers. A shot from the point is wide. Behind, uh, played back for Olim. Or check that for Meyer. On the far side, Weber tried to push it down the wall, and then it's just flipped high and out to center by Anderson. Skating it on to it is Olam. Olam lets the shot go. That is wide. Rebound picked up on the near side by Truman Haugen. Played it down the wall, but intercepted by the Tigers and brought along now by Plant. Plant overskates it. Delayed offside call up coming. The Tigers clear the zone and send it right back in where it's played by Brady Anderson. His pass off of Odafi's stick. Plant ahead. Archbold, his pass intercepted by Anderson. Misplayed at the far wall by Odafi. Plant tried to cut in, had it knocked off his stick by Anderson. Walking out front, sharp angle shot, defended away by Haugen. Rebound picked up by the Tigers. Welbert snaps it off over top of the net. Rebounds to Archbold. Back to the point for Remy. Near point, Welbert shot. Looking for the redirect out front was White. Hogan another save up top. Plant, it goes through him. Remy down the wall, center. Right. Pass comes comes bouncing free to the near wall. Plant holds his own to White. out of the zone by Michelizzi. Archbold brings it right back in. His pass intercepted and pushed out to center, giving chase now his heartache, but he'll peel off as he's beaten to it by Wilbur. first penalty as the Stars had too many on the ice with that puck right in front of their bench. And so the bench minor is assessed at 10.39 of the second period. And it will be served by Truman Haugen.
So the game's first power play goes to Southwest, or goes to Marshall. Southwest Christian wins the faceoff, and they are able to just clear that one out. Wilbert sends it across and gets it back now from Plant. Plant peels back, Welbert will skate it into the Southwest zone. Now picked up by Vandeveer, he muscles his way down the wall into the corner. Back for Plant, slid it back to the point, but having moved to the middle was Welbert, and so uh, Tigers will have to uh, regather. Welbert goes down, but able to get to it before Conkle could get there. Welbert into the zone, lets the shot go over top of the net. Plant at the point, into the high slot, looking for some space, peels back. To the far point, Welbert shot, steered aside by Haugen. Vandeveer turns, fires on goal. Haugen the save and then covers up the rebound. Look at a face off to his left. Still 54 seconds left on the Marshall power play time. And 514 left to play in period number two. Olam and Anthony on the face off and it comes right back to Haugen. And we'll do it all over again. Clean face-off win for the Tigers. They work at near point for Weber. His shot wide. And the rebound is picked up and sent the length of the ice by Hardacre. Long pass tip free and the Tigers push it ahead. Art Bold at the blue line, plays it down the wall. Glad home with it. His centering pass was tipped and sent the length of the ice. Courtesy of Ali Juhas. Now Juhas will drive it again, this time right on goal. Casper whips it around for Art Gold. Southwest Christian comes back to full strength. Successfully killing the game's only penalty thus far. Now stolen away, but unable to take advantage. Summerness was tied up. Broken stick on the ice. Beautiful shot there from Gustafson and kicked away. Sharp angle shot taken uh, by Hardacre. Goes wide. Slid into the corner. Centering pass deflects back. Hardacre lines it up and fires wide. Juhas at the near point, at the far point, winds up his shot. Deflects into the corner. Conkler puts on one move, plays it back for Hardacre, winds up, lets it go, that hits the traffic out front. And deflects into the netting on the side, a face-off coming in the Marshall zone with 3.39 to play in period two. Vandeveer pulls the face off back for Marshall. Tied up behind and then squirts free for Haugen. He'll play it back to the point. Juhas back for Haugen. Freshman and freshman on the left side of the ice there. That was, did come out. Southwest touches up and quickly back in on the forward check is Odafi. Spinning away from him is Meyer. And this pass fails to connect. And an icing call on Marshall. Vandermeer <laughs> pulled it right back to his keeper. Casper's covers. Vandermeer, another face-off win for Marshall. Getting tied up was White. 
Eventually sent ahead by Plant White. First one to it. Sharp angle shot right on goal. Haugen knocks it down, covers it up. And now we're going to face off in the Southwest Christian zone with 2.52 left to play in the period. Again, Vandeveer and Olam on the faceoff. Again, Vandeveer wins it for Marshall. Vandeveer lines it up, pass save, rebound by White, but defended off the puck by Holmstrom. Held in by Welvert. And then Haugen able to push it past him. Rink wide pass for Plant. Plant centers, knocked away from Vandeveer. Plant goes down, he undercuts Gorsh as he did. In the corner is Gorsh. Puts it toward the front, looking to get a stick on it, was Odafi. Behind the net now, White. Tries to clear, but now it's picked free by Plant. Plant down the right wing. Chased defensively by O'Connell. Plant cuts around O'Connell, walks right in. Hutton coming out, Haugen makes the save and swallows it up, no rebound. Marshall, who had waltzed into this championship game and really has kind of waltzed through most of their season, coming into the game today, as I mentioned, 11 and 1. They had outscored their opponents 66 to 19 entering play. They have not lost to a Minnesota team this year. They're only lost 5 to 2 against Fargo Davies. In fact, their closest margin of victory has been three goals. So a good test for them here today against the Southwest Christian Academy Stars. Now Gustafson down the right wing. Gustafson lets it go. Casper's the save and the rebound. Kicks to the near wall where it's picked up by Weber. He gets cut off by Summerness. Gustafson. Plays it back to the point. Hardacre tries to slide it out front. We got a delayed penalty upcoming, and here it comes to Marshall. It's a tripping call at 16-07, giving a Southwest Christian their first power play opportunity of this game. Mason Plant into the box, and that's doubly hurtful for Marshall as he's one of their main penalty killers. He's got three shorthanded goals on the season. As does Tristan Vandeveer, who's set to take the face off for Marshall. Olam is kicked out for Southwest. Hardacre steps in. Olam leaves it off for Hardacre. At the point now, Olam the corner, O'Connell. Back up top for Olam. Throws it toward the front, deflected over top of the net. And it is a cent the length of the ice. Half a minute left in the period, obviously the penalty time. We'll spill into period three if the Stars can't capitalize here. Hardacre into the Marshall zone, 12 seconds left. His shot deflects into the corner. O'Connell behind the net, five seconds. Centering pass and that went through. Hardacre out front at the buzzer, got it into the blue ice, but no further. And we are through two in the boys open championship game with your score. Southwest Christian two, Marshall two, Folks, we'll turn down the sound. We'll be back with what is shaping up to be a fantastic third period in this championship game. You're watching the Schwann's Cup on YouTube and nscgamecast.tv.
Welcome back inside Ritter Arena sports fans. Marshall and Southwest Christian tied at two. My apologies to all the Stars fans out there. I've been throwing in the word academy occasionally, and uh, my bad on that. Your squad tied at two with Marshall. One minute of penalty time now remains. Power play for Southwest Christian. Through center, Summerness pushes it into the Tigers zone, gets rubbed out along the wall by Vandeveer, and able to clear it from there is Welbert. Anderson behind his own net. Conkle starts ahead for the Stars. Conkle with speed through center. Forced to the right wing. Plays it back to the point. Hardacre leaves it off for Conkle, and then his pass deflected out to center, getting a stick out on that was Arkbold. Anderson taken down, the Stars run into each other, but Conkle covers that up. Hardacre's pass off the heel of the stick and the cleared back in, but right off of Conkle, and he starts back for the Stars and throws it on goal, block it away by Caspers. And the first one to the rebound. Was it Jensen Meyer? He clears it the length of the ice. Marshall is back at full strength as Plant steps back onto the ice. Shot from the wall by Cruz, easily steered aside by Haugen. Plant. Now in the slot. Shot by Frost is deflected wide. It comes back to the point. Knocked down and picked up, brought along by Odify. And just unable to drag that back skate was Jackson Olam offsides on Southwest Christian. to get too far ahead of ourselves here, but hey, we're in the third period of a tie game. You might be asking yourself, hey, what happens if we don't find a winner here in regulation? Well, unlike state high school league rules, we will play an eight minute sudden death period. And if no one scores in those eight minutes, it would go to a three-player shootout. And then round by round, if needed, to pass that. But we've got 14.40 left to play in this one, so plenty of time. These teams have traded goals in each of the opening two periods to get to this 2-2 tie. The Stars will push it deep, back to play it for the Tigers as Cruz. White picks it up along the near wall. Kind of overskated it and got tied up there with Olim, but it does come free back for O'Connell. He gets it ahead, brought over the line by Gorsh. Held in by Beck Jordan. Hardacre. Slid one toward the front, that stick down, played away, but held in the zone. Beck Jordan gets the shot on big rebound. Beck Jordan turned the wrong way, and then it came free, and the, getting the shot was Kyle Baker, but that's deflected up and out of play. Faceoff stays in the Marshall zone, 13.56 to play in regulation. Catch you up on the shots in the second period. Marshall again outshot Southwest Christian 14 to nine, 29 to 16 through two periods of play. Is the Marshall advantage even though we are tied 2-2. Turned over centering pass, but Gustafson was tied up. It comes free and finally just reaching out and covering things up is Caspers in another face off coming in the Marshall zone. twist this championship game is taking place before all the other consolation games in this division of course all the other consolation games will be taking place in Blaine at the super rink backhander steered aside sharp angle shot hits the back of the net courtesy of Gustafson who tries to dig it free but kicking it free and bringing it ahead is Welbert 
Right wing pass for Landon Frost. Frost with the wrister and the Haugen gloves it and hangs on. the face off white shot hit the linesman O'Connell works his way up the wall can't work it past Vanderveer but O'Connell takes it back his pass failed to connect with Truman Hogan but now Truman Hogan does play it out to center white puts on the brakes that forced the glad all in but Stars will bring it back the other way. Taken away by Vanderveer. That came out a second time, and O'Connell now with everybody on side backhands it deep into the Marshall zone. White chips it along. Vanderveer got a stick on it, but Anderson sends it right back in, or Gorsh sends it right back in. Long pass ahead, White. Unable to work past Hardacre. Baker down the right wing. And it went down in a heap along with Thordson. Pass into the slot, gets batted through the far corner. Hardacre played it up the wall. Thordson back to the point, now back for Thordson. Sends one into the slot that'll kick free to the near wall. First one to it there, Jared Anthony. His centering pass. Knockdown played ahead, but Anthony intercepts. His shot deflects, comes through on goal. Haugen covers it up, and we'll get a face up in the Southwest Christian zone with 11 24 left to play in regulation. and Plant. Plant wins the faceoff. Walked around. Clonko got the shot away, but Haugen the save. Now it comes to Plant side of that backhand shot. Haugen the save. Rebound kicks into the near faceoff circle. Just kind of uh, muscling it out to center was Holmstrom. Plant and O'Connell chase it to the far corner. Plant wins the battle. Centering pass and steering it just wide was Arkbold. Wilbur taps it free for Plant. Another centering pass cut off by O'Connell. Flip free. Arkbold centering pass was knocked away by Gustafson. Stolen by Arkbold into the slot. A shot and Haugen at the top of the crease. Takes it in the midsection and hangs on. Tigers top line dangerous yet again, but Lucas Haugen equal to the challenge as he makes the save number 31 on the afternoon. Hardacre and Vanderveer chase it to the corner. Gladholm trying to dig it free. Hardacre takes it away from him, now plays it to Truman Haugen. Odify, his pass just a touch too far that time for Olin. And we are going to get an icing call on Southwest Christian. So I will move the action back to our right and in the star zone. Does it get much better than this? If you're a sports fan, New Year's Day, you've got championship hockey here from Ritter Arena. You've got all sorts of bowl games on TV as well. Centering pass, stick down, played away by Conkle. He starts ahead, nifty move. And the puck is picked up, comes back to Conkle, slides off his stick. He'll chase it down in the corner, whips it into the slot, knocked back there by Caspers. 
White flips it ahead. Vandermeer into the Southwest Christian zone. And a poke off his stick and Conco pushes it out to center right to Remy who dumps it back in. O'Connell to the left wing. Larson plays it across. Brought in trying to flip it ahead was Carter Evans. This line hasn't seen a whole lot of action for Southwest Christian but needing to provide some minutes with some fresh legs out there. They do a nice job. Came free and the, getting the shot away was Anthony, but wide. Now Anthony able to hold it in for Marshall. Brady Anderson pokes it free. It's picked up by Summerness. His pass intercepted. Arkbold fans on the shot, gets it back, and then goes down. It just slides off into the corner where Hardacre plays it ahead. Gustafson back for Hardacre. Two on two at center. He's got Summerness on his left, kind of mishandled it. And coming back into the play is Caden Thordson. He drops it back. Here's a break. Arkbold comes right in again. How got a big save. Arkbold gets it back. His pass intercepted by Gustafson. For Summerness. Back for Gustafson down the slot. But we get a delayed offsides call. Late whistle. And actually, what we get is a too many white shirts on the ice. That is the penalty call. So Southwest Christian will go back on the power play. Bench minor penalty comes at 8.55 of period number three. Served by Joe Arkbold. In, glove down, knocked out to center. O'Connell waits for players to clear the zone, brings it right back in, drags it down the wall. Centering pass gets tipped free. Glove down, Gustafson shot wide. Summerin is tied up behind the net, and Cruz plays it to the point. Held in, the pass too far for O'Connell. Stick breaks, actually a couple of them uh, loose on the ice. From the slot, they score! Ali Juhas, power play goal, gives Southwest Christian a 3-2 lead. Second of the season for UHAS. Nine thirty-eight, the time of the goal. And for the second time today, the Stars have the one goal advantage. Just one assist. Colin O'Connell picks that up. Casper gets it ahead for Frost. Right wing pass failed to connect with Plant. Back the other way comes Gustafson. Down the left wing, cut in, knocked off his stick and out to center by Arkbold. Plant for Weber, kind of fan on the pass. Picked up by Welvert, and he'll send it deep into the Southwest Christian zone. Six and a half to play in regulation. Summerness gets it out to center. White jerseys converge, but he's able to push it deep into the Tigers zone. Arkbold picks it up, flips it the length of the ice. And an icing call here on Marshall.
6.14 to play in regulation. Baker and Vandeveer on the face up, won by the Tigers. Meyer plays it ahead. Vandeveer left wing pass. Glad home, sharp angle shot. Gloved and held by Haugen. We'll get the face off in the Stars zone. Down to 6.03 left to play. Olam and Bandevere on the face off. Tigers control. Meyer just plays it into the corner. It rings around to Hardacre. Ahead for Haugen. He'll backhand it out of the zone. Meyer across, kind of misplayed there by Cruz. Haugen tried to cut in, but he gets pushed off the puck. Down the left wing, Gladholm tries to cut in, and Hardacre dumps him to the ice, and they're going to get Hardacre for a penalty. This is going to go into the books as a roughing call, and so uh, Marshall trailing 3-2 to two, gets to go on the power play. So Brody Hardacre, a little stunned that he's going off into the box for that one. 11.28 is the time of the penalty. Gustafson, Conkle, O'Connell. Get a delay, not sure. Discussion uh, at the Southwest Christian bench over why that was a penalty. Brady Anderson, the fourth penalty killer. He tried to skate away with it. He's taken out there by Vandeveer, but Anderson back in it. Finally pulled free by the Tigers. Left off at the point. Welvert to the near point for Plant. Crosses with Welvert, gives it back to him. Plant, Welvert, lets the shot go. Haugen makes the save. Rebound was loose, but Haugen quickly corrals it. Exactly five minutes left in regulation. A minute 28 left on the Marshall power play time. As Anderson uh, goes off, the new penalty killer on is Jake Holmstrom. Face off win for the Tigers. Plant gets a shot, and again. Hogan the save quickly scoops up the rebound. That shot came from the stick of Landon Frost. As you might expect, Mason Plant. Leads the Tigers in power play goals. He's got five. Shot wide, and that's going to rebound all the way out to center. The Marshall power play has been good this year at 26.5%. The Southwest Christian penalty kill, excellent. Nearly 92% on the season. Comes in, Plant goes down. He undercuts the goaltender, takes the net off. That reset. And we'll see if they keep the face off in the zone or if they move it out with Plant taking the net off. And they will move it outside to the uh, Stars blue line. Still 54 seconds on the Marshall power play time. Vandeveer and Olim on the faceoff. Vandeveer has been very good on the dot for Marshall. And eventually the Tigers control. Plant plays it across. Welbert circles back into his own zone. Watched by Olim. Ahead for Plant and into the Southwest Christian zone. Plant up top for Welbert. 
He lets the shot go, block it away by Haugen. Plant picks up the rebound for Marshall. 20 seconds left on the power play time. Chipped into the corner, quick centering pass comes uh, all the way through to the far wall. First one to it there is Frost. Frost walks right out front, they score! Power play goal, knots us at three. Tristan Vandermeer knocked it home. 13-18 the time of a Vandermeer's power play goal. His first power play goal of the season and it is his 10th overall. And just as they did in the first two periods, the team's trade goals here in the third. Both teams uh, knock it in power play goals. Frost and the Caleb Welbert pick up the assist on the power play goals. On the power play goal, I should say. Shots in the period, 11 to five in favor of Marshall. They have thrown 40 pucks. That stars goaltender Lucas Haugen there. They're throwing a few more here. A couple opportunities from in tight and Haugen stands his ground. And we're gonna get another Southwest Christian penalty, this one for a high stick. And right back on the power play goes Marshall. Owen oh, Summerness goes to the box for the Stars. 14.05 is the time of the penalty. Oleman Vandeveer on the faceoff. Tigers control. Plant able to hold it in after he fanned on the pass. Welbert into the slot for Frost. Frost tied up, flips the one wide. Vandeveer. Back to the point for Welbert. Welbert stick handles into the slot on the forehand. The shot goes off a of skate and wide. And the first one to it from there is Juhas, and he sends it the length of the ice. Caspers gets it quickly ahead for Frost. Or check that, it's Brandon White with it. White at the hash marks. Back to the point for Welbert. Plant crosses with Welbert. Plant into the slot. Gustafson there harassing him. Pushed him out to the blue line. Now it's White. Knocked off his stick into the corner by Hardacre. Behind the net, Vanderveer. Back to the point, Welbert winds up, lets it go. How gonna save the rebound, they score! Two for two on the power play here in the third has given Marshall a four to three lead. And I believe once again, it is Tristan Vandermeer that will get credit for the power play goal. 15.06, the time of the Marshall goal. Hogan made another stop, and now walking right in, Arkbull to the backhand, Hogan denies him. Huge save to keep the Stars in this one. Now from the slot, a shot over top of the net. It is Vandermeer that gets credit for the power play goal. Welbert and White pick up the assists at 15.06. Another faceoff coming in the Southwest Christian zone to the right of Lucas Haugen. A minute 32 left in regulation. 17 shots here in the period for Marshall. 
46 in the hockey game. Stars breaking through on the backhand, trying to push one toward the net as he was going down was Gustafson. Hogan was coming to the bench for the extra attacker. Stars looking for a penalty on that play. Pleading their case, but not awarded. And now a timeout taken by Southwest Christian. So let's set things up here for you. There's a minute 19 left in regulation time. Marshall leads Southwest Christian four to three. The faceoff will be in the Marshall zone. So uh, Lucas Hogan was sneaking it toward the bench as the whistle blew. I suspect as we come out of this timeout, he will be on the bench in favor of an extra attacker for the Stars. Goals here in the third. Teams were tied at two after two. Stars would grab a 3-2 lead at 9.38. All the scoring here in the third period coming on the power play. For the Stars, it was Ali Juhas, the freshman with his second of the season, off an assist from Cullen O'Connell, who was only a sophomore. Gave the Stars the 3-2 lead, but Marshall would tie it at 13-18. Tristan Vandeveer, his 10th of the season. Assist to Landon Frost and Caleb Welvert. And it was Vandeveer again at 15.06, again on the power play, second of the game, 11th of the season. Welvert and Bryson White picked up the assists on what right now is the game-winning goal, but the extra attacker is on for the Stars. They win the faceoff, they get it back to uh, O'Connell. Tap free in the corner. Knocked down uh, by Conkle. Conkle had the first goal of this hockey game. Stars get it back for Conkle up top. To the far side, Hardacre skates and lets the wrister go. Caspers makes the save and hangs on to it. We're going to face off to his left. Another important face off. Marshall has dominated the face off dot, but a good face off win that time. Conkle and Vandeveer. Conkle again wins it. Olim throws it rink wide and getting a stick on it to break it up that time. Comes free. Conkle lets it go. That was knocked down. Empty net. But Hardacre gets back to a tip it free. Now it does come free and just unable to take advantage here is Plant. Plant gets it free, and we have got a whistle behind the play. We've got players tied up out in the neutral ice area. And I think some sort of equipment malfunction, something with somebody's helmet, gave us the whistle. It's going to move the face off back into the Southwest Christian zone, and that's going to bring Haugen back onto the ice. 33.3 seconds remain. Conkle and Vandeveer on the faceoff. Controlled by the Stars. They'll slap it around Gustafson at the far wall. Got tied up there by Bladholm. Olam through center, Haug into the bench. Olam throws it deep into the Marshall zone. Stop behind the net. Caspers plays it away. Stars will hold it. Centering pass knocked down, but not cleared. Now Jensen skates away with it. Boy, that came off the end wall right into the blue ice. And now Jensen able to clear it. The horn sounds. And the Marshall Tigers are the 2018 Varsity Boys Open champions as they edge Southwest Christian by a final score of a four to three. A fantastic championship game to start our day here at Ritter Arena. Certainly nothing to be uh, feeling too bad about a great week here in the Schwanz Cup for Southwest Christian.
But the Marshall Tigers improved to 12 and one. They are your 2018 champions. Hey, we'd like to thank you for joining us on your New Year's Day. Once again, your final score, Marshall four, Southwest Christian three. You've been watching the 2018 Schwann's Cup from Ritter Arena. Have a great day, everybody.